Hey everybody. In my last video, many of you asked for some sample photos from the X-H2. So I went ahead and just, just got back from some street photography with the X-H2 and the 23 millimeter Viltrox lens, the f1.4. Now I think this test is gonna be interesting for a couple of reasons. One, these are straight out of camera JPEGs. I will put the film recipe that I used to shoot these on the screen. I don't actually know where it's from. I've been getting some from YouTube and Fuji X Weekly and also making my own. So I'm just gonna put the, the details on the screen right now. The other thing to note that I think is interesting about this test is that I'm using a third party lens to do the street photography. I will say, and I mentioned this in my last video, um, I really don't see a big difference in performance using a third party lens. I also know there were some questions of whether or not it would render a full 40 megapixel image. I think you'll be able to see in these images that, you know, resolution is there, sharpness is there, even with a third party lens. So what was the experience of shooting with this camera like? I think it was great. Um, definitely the ergonomics came into play, you know, having that grip, being able to kind of just like quickly, you know, move around. Um, it's the perfect mix of a lightweight body that still feels really stable and well built. And with that grip, you can hold it very nicely. So from an autofocus perspective, and I need to get a little more familiar with um, the autofocus modes. It's been a while since I've shot with Fuji to this extent. Um, I used primarily zone autofocus and some single point autofocus with this. I will say the joystick, you kind of have to push a little hard on it to get the point to move. I don't know if that's just my model or it's something I probably just got to get used to. I do really miss touch and drag from Canon cameras. <laughs> I think I got really spoiled being able to just go like that. Um, that's okay though. As you can see from the images on the screen, this is, these are crystal clear. And I think that's a mixture of the autofocus and the 40 megapixels. The 40 megapixels obviously creates more resolution, more detail. And you can see when you scale one of these up, everything's sharp, even zoomed in. But I also remember that on the X-T3, I'm also shooting with the X-T30 right now. On those bodies, it was, the autofocus wasn't as confident. I felt like even when it locked on a subject, it was still a little bit soft. Whereas, you know, with the X-H2, I'm finding that, you know, when it locks on something, it is locked on. The autofocus, you know, when it picks a subject based on the point or whatever your mode is, what it's focused on is sharp. And again, I think that's a mix of both the autofocus and the 40 megapixels. One quirk that's a little bit annoying, and I think some other people have mentioned this in their videos as well, is the ISO button. Having to hit that and then use the back scroll reel to adjust ISO, I just, I mean, every other camera I've ever used that has two dials, the front is ISO, the back is shutter speed. I feel like that can be fixed in a firmware update, but that is like a weird quirk that I had to get used to while shooting, especially because I was shooting in broad daylight at... <laughs> 1.4 f 1.4 so like i needed to be adjusting that pretty regularly and it was just a little hard to have to like not be able to use both dials i think overall another big thing to take away here is that the film simulations create such beautiful colors straight out of camera these images are not edited they were shot in the camera <laughs> you can see the fall colors the blue sky everything looks beautiful um mixed with the 40 megapixels, I'd be comfortable printing some of these out without editing them at all. And I think that really is like one of the biggest value props of Fuji cameras today. Just to touch on the 23 millimeter and how it performed, I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I mean, I really saw no difference in performance compared to native glass. I do now have the 50 millimeter 1.0 now. Um, I will actually say I'm a little surprised that that lens kind of makes so much noise when it's focusing. I, it makes sense. There's a lot of glass in there and, you know, it's a, a big lens. It's not a linear motor. So I guess that's a thing. But, um, you know, for walking around and street photography type stuff, like I don't think I would bring that around because of how bulky it is and also how loud it is. This 23 1.4 from Viltrox on the X-H2 was silent. Like you did not hear it. <laughs> it did not hunt. Uh, wherever my focus point was, locked right on. Good. So again, I don't see an image quality decrease and I also don't see a functionality decrease. So I don't wanna drag this video out too much. I just wanted to show you guys some sample images, talk to you a little bit about what it's been like shooting. I will definitely be creating more videos, talking more about the lenses that I got, um, kind of my experience with video on this camera. So definitely be sure to subscribe. 
you haven't done so already. And thank you to all of you who have since my last video. Very excited to connect with more Fuji shooters. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.